Hey there, nature enthusiasts. Are you ready to explore some of the most mind-blowing animal habitats on the planet? From the deep sea hydrothermal vents to the tops of tall trees in the rainforest canopy, and even inside the bodies of other organisms, there are animals that have adapted to thrive in the most unlikely places. Let's dive in and check out some of the most bizarre and fascinating animal habitats out there. First up, let's talk about the deep sea hydrothermal vents. These underwater springs are found on the ocean floor, where hot water and minerals from the Earth's crust create a unique environment that's home to a diverse array of animals. One of the most iconic creatures that call the deep sea hydrothermal vents home is the giant tube worm. These worms can grow up to 8 feet long and live in a symbiotic relationship with bacteria that thrive in the vent's hot water. The worms provide the bacteria with a safe place to live, and in return, the bacteria produce nutrients that the worms use for energy. But that's not all. The deep sea hydrothermal vents are also home to other bizarre creatures like the vent crabs, which have adapted to survive in the harsh conditions of the vents. These crabs have a specialized exoskeleton that can withstand the high temperatures and chemicals found in the vent water. Next up, let's head to the rainforest canopy, where the trees are so tall that the sunlight barely reaches the ground. This creates a unique environment that's home to a variety of animals that have adapted to life in the shadows. One of the most fascinating creatures that call the rainforest canopy home is the tree sloth. These slow-moving mammals have evolved to spend their entire lives in the trees, where they feed on leaves and fruits. Their slow movements help them conserve energy, which is essential in a habitat where food is scarce. But the rainforest canopy isn't just home to sloths. There are also a variety of birds, like the hoatzin, that have adapted to life in the trees. The hoatzin is a strange bird that has a unique clawed wing, which allows it to climb through the trees like a primate. Finally, let's talk about one of the most bizarre animal habitats of all, inside the bodies of other organisms. Yep, you heard that right. There are animals that have adapted to live inside the bodies of other animals, like the oxpecker bird that lives inside the skin of rhinos and buffalo. The oxpecker bird feeds on the ticks and other parasites that live on the skin of the rhino and buffalo, providing a cleaning service for these large mammals. In return, the rhino and buffalo provide the oxpecker with a safe place to live and protection from predators. But that's not all. There are also animals that live inside the bodies of plants. The leafcutter ant, for example, lives inside the leaves of certain plants and feeds on the plant's sap. The ant's waste products then provide nutrients for the plant, creating a mutualistic relationship between the two. In conclusion, these bizarre animal habitats are just a few examples of the incredible diversity of life on our planet. From the deep sea hydrothermal vents to the rainforest canopy, and even inside the bodies of other organisms, there are animals that have adapted to thrive in the most unlikely places. So, the next time you're out exploring the natural world, keep your eyes peeled for these strange and fascinating creatures. Who knows what hidden gems you might discover? Thanks for joining me on this journey into the weird and wonderful world of animal habitats. I hope you've learned something new and have a new appreciation for the incredible diversity. And that wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with us. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We always love hearing from you, so please leave your thoughts, questions, or suggestions in the comments section below.